Hey everyone, so I get a lot of questions and comments asking me like, Hey John, how can I get into the Capture the Flag scene? How can I get started? How can I learn how to hack or how to be more of a cybersecurity professional? So my usual answer to them is like, well, just jump in. Just uh, take a look at Over the Wire, some of those war games, try practicing like Capture the Flag competitions. And normally the first thing that I suggest to them is try to play Pico CTF. And Pico CTF is what I would say is one of the best jumping off points to really learn more capture the flag style like challenges and the the content, the topics, things that you would you see in some of, of the scene. So what I want to do in this video series is try and attack this like as if you were an absolute beginner. So I'll explain as much as I can, everything in detail, and try and be as hand-holding and as friendly as I can be. And that's why I'm doing this right now on Windows. So let's say you're an absolute beginner, you don't know Linux, you don't know a whole lot of programming stuff just yet, but we're going to jump in and we're going to do it for real. So I am on a vanilla Windows 10 image, like literally not even... <laughs> I'm just doing a virtual machine right here, so I'm just... Even on Microsoft Edge, I don't have anything. <laughs> um, so if I were to go to Google, like, as a noob, just Googled Pico CTF, and our first result is where we're going to head. So Pico CTF is a cybersecurity competition put on by Carnegie Mellon University. Um, let's make this stupid Windows nag go away. And it's originally designed for middle and high school students, right? So to get that introductory phase for people trying to get into the scene and learn cybersecurity, computer science, stuff around uh, participants must reverse engineer, break, hack, decrypt, or do whatever it takes to solve a challenge. They're set up with the intent of being hacked, so it's like purposefully vulnerable and for you to learn. So it's done by the Carnegie Mellon University, the guys that do Scilab um, and their INI and, I and Plaid Parliament opponent. So they got a lot of guys that like are hardcore, like top of the world for capture the flag security teams, at least United States wise. And this is their game. So let's jump in. We're still waiting on Pico CTF 2018 to be released should come this September, but the 2017 game is phenomenal. And that's where I want us to start. So if you haven't already go ahead and create an account, I'm going to do this as well. Uh, the URL right now is just 2017.picoctf.com. If we want to register, you would just go to like forward slash register. Um, you can check out the get started page right here, but it will link you to, okay, officially register for Pico CTF. You will need an email address to be able to do this. Um, I'm just probably going to use a quick and easy 10 minute mail thing. If we Google 10 minute mail, we can get, Temporary email. Wow, Bing is the default here. Dang. <laughs> All right, so let's go back over to our Pico 2017 tab. I'll pick a username. I'm going to do underscore underscore John Hammond because I've been trying this a few times. Paste in that email address that we just got for our temporary email address. Let's give it a password. We don't need to have a school in this case. Uh, I'm from the United States, so I'll agree to the terms of service. Tell them I'm not a robot, and I'm probably going to have to go through this stuff. Sorry, guys. Bus, bus, bus. More buses. Verify. Sweet, I did it. I am not a robot. Perfect. All right, so they just sent a verification email. Let's go ahead and check it. Um, since we're in the 10 minute mail slot, let's go over there. And okay, cool. It just popped up. Welcome to Pico CTF. Confirm your email. Scroll down here. There's a big blue button to activate our account. Cool. So now we are in. And it looks like it's trying to load something. Okay, cool. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit so we can see here. But what this section is, is the tutorial. Like you can see up in the URL, cut for cutscene, and then tutorial one entry. So this is a tutorial, and it's trying to go through a little bit of scenario, storyline, to offer some context for what we're trying to do here. But I think it's pretty silly. You don't have to watch through all of it. Down at the bottom right, you've got some skip or skip all options. Um, and right now it's just trying to set the scene for a lot of the material that we're going to see in the game. I don't care too much about that storyline stuff. I care more about the actual technical ability and competence that we're going to learn how to do here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and skip all on these and it'll jump us right to the first challenge here. But it looks like we're presented with kind of like a desktop looking screen. So 
Daedalus, I think, is the company or corporation that we're trying to uh, either get stuff out of. Again, I didn't pay attention to the storyline, but I just want to give you context of what this thing is. So on the left here, you've got a file called op name, but the icon says open me. So if we click on that, we get this dialog box that pops up, and this is what we're going to see as a challenge that like that's presented to us, and it's, that's, it's just that. It's that small, self-contained, encapsulated thing. This box right here. So the challenge title, in this case, is just Tutorial 1. And our challenge prompt is, how can you figure out Robin Morris's middle name? Thankfully, you have a list you can check, and list looks to be in blue. So that's got to be a link. We've got hints down here, and we can expand those. The hints here says, please don't search by hand. Okay? Benefit of using a computer, we have automation, we have power, we have speed, and numbers, and computing. So let's click on that list, and... Nice. Okay, this looks like a giant text file, contractors.txt, in some static directory. I don't care. But we've got dataless contractor list number 1,498. So we can scroll through this, right? But like it said, please don't look by hand. So let's try and control F. Let's uh, use that find and replace or search functionality that our browser gives us and hit control and F at the same time on the keyboard. And we can look for whatever it is that we're trying to find, Robin Morris's middle name. Well, since we can only look for text in that text file, let's try like Morris as the last name, see if we could track it down. We could also look for Robin, but that has 23 results, as you can see, and Morris, I think, only has 12. Okay, so last name Morris, that's Anthony, Robin Morrison, not right, not right, first names. That's Jennifer Morris, not Robin Morris, Ava Morris, Morrison, Sophie Morris, still wrong, Robert Morris, etc., etc. Okay, so after we've hit enter a few times, looks like we found it on the 10th entry. Uh, Robin Alme Morris, you can see it right there. Here, I'll highlight this. That's his name, Robin first name, Morris last name, so his middle name must be Alme. Cool. So... Right now, obviously, this doesn't look like a cool lead hacker thing that we're doing right now. It's just a tutorial. It's just trying to get us in the, in the zone, in the mindset of finding a flag or a token or something that we're trying to reach as our goal, as the objective, and find out a way to, to get there. And it's just going through these silly cutscenes and all, but let's go ahead and move on from this. I want to hit skip all. And, okay, now we're back to the desktop, and the next level of the tutorial, Tutorial 2, looks like the thing is called Ambition Tutorial 2. Robin handed me this the other day. Maybe it'll help me find the answer. Okay, well, that's enough for now, because I want us to just get our feet wet. I want us to register for Pico CTF. I wanted to jump and showcase the first tutorial, but that's, right now, the bare basics that we're doing, because... You're right, that wasn't super cool, that wasn't super elite, flashy, hacky, sexy stuff on the keyboard, but we're going to get into it, you're going to learn to be an awesome cybersecurity professional, you're going to learn to be a hacker, and you're going to be loving the cybersecurity capture the flag competition, that CTF scene, and I think Pico CTF is a great way to jump in. I'm on Windows right now because I want to be holding your hand. I want to be with you as a beginner. I want to be walking this road with you like side by side. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this. Um, hey, I have to shout out to my supporters, people that are giving me some love so far uh, in Patreon. So big shout out to, I'm going to say big because I'm going to make it like a huge font. 40, 72. Let's go 48. <laughs> 72 is a little much. Cool. Spencer Clark, Gal Horowitz, uh, Suzuki Attila. I'm sorry. Windows Notepad removed the accent, so I know you have an accent in your name, and I'm really sorry that it loses it, but the next one is my favorite to say, Orgoloth the Unruly, Destroyer of Worlds, Bastion of Terror. Um, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Uh, $1 a month on Patreon will give you a shout-out just like this at the end of every video. $5 a month or more will give you early access, quote-unquote early access, access the best I can do, for the videos that I create. Because uh, I record a lot of things in bulk and in mass, and then I release them to YouTube and a scheduled daily, like, gradual upload. If you don't want to wait, you want the content immediately as it's ready, uh, $5 a month, you get early access. So thank you guys for watching. If you did like this video, please press that like button. Um, please, please, press, <laughs> please press that like button. Uh, hey, maybe comment, maybe subscribe if you're willing to support me on Patreon. Thanks so much. See you soon.